Hello and a very warm welcome. My name is Odo Sendaidokai and in this video I want to talk in English and sometimes in Deutsch about some new changes of the Search XT version 1.2 plugin that is available for Linux, Windows and macOS. The new version was released on the 10th of April 2023. Please leave a comment with your thoughts on the new version of Search XT. I would be happy if you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Ich würde mich freuen, wenn du dem Video einen Daumen hoch gibst und den Kanal abonnierst und schreibe doch deine Gedanken bitte in die Kommentare unterhalb dieses Videos. But let's get started. So, um, and this is the new Search uh, XT 1.2. And on the website, there is um, the changes log and you can find if you click on the upper left of the website and click on change log, then you get over here. And I want to talk about some new features or improved features or fixes that have been made on this uh, really, really nice um, synthesizer plugin that is available um, as a standalone and as a DAW version. So as VST3 and CLAP version, and I'm not really sure if there's another LV2 or something. But okay, the, the main uh, plugin formats are done with a VST3 and CLAP. If you don't know what CLAP is, I have a video um, about CLAP and you can um, read about uh, CLAP all over the web. It is a new format invented by um, Bitwig and Yu He and um, it's a really great thing and you should be aware of it and should look if your DAW supports clap if not um, you will miss something but okay let's talk about the new search xt so the new search xt uh, doesn't change a lot in the ui so not so obvious things but there are some slighter um, things over there because there's an oscilloscope and a spectrograph in the Search XT right now. And you can open the oscilloscope over here, right clicking on the output over here and showing the oscilloscope. And on the oscilloscope itself, you have on the upper left, the waveform view and the spectrum view. You can show the left and the right channels and with every option you have over here, waveform or spectrum, it changes the option options block over here. So you have a DC block, you have a freeze option where you can freeze the, the waveform and you have a sync withdraw and you can change the time scaling, the amplitude scaling, for example, make it bigger, make it smaller and such thing. You have free run, rising edges, falling edges, internal trigger settings. I don't want to go into uh, deeper into that detail just to show you that there are some several um, advanced um, options available because um, they're easy overseen when you just open this and just look in the upper form, in the upper window and uh, watching what's happening over there. So waveform and spectrum. And there's um, also um, um, a shortcut for that is Alt-O. Then there is as well, um, it, uh, I had it later over here, but um, as it is over here, you can show the CPU usage. There's not the, <laughs> the CP, the, how many CPU it's using is a percentage. So then there is a, um, a thing that is called MTS ESP provider. And this has something to do with the tuning. It's over here. If you don't know what MTS ESP provider is, I didn't know that either. Um, and let me show you like this. MTS ESP library is a simple blah, blah, blah for adding micro tuning support to audio and MIDI plugins. It always, it is always for a single master plugin to simultaneously control the tuning of any number of connected clients plugins. So 
You can set a tuning master in your project, like the Search XT, for example, and set all your tunings how you want to have it and connect all other clients that are able to speak this um, protocol um, to your master client, the Search XT. So, and every other plugin will follow the tuning of Search XT. The MTS ESP means MTS means MIDI tuning standard and ESP means um, extrasensory perception. This is just an abbreviation and um, people who use it already know that. So with the accessibility on the uh, Search XT and the Search XT team is always keen to uh, try to follow or fulfill some um, of the very important accessibility um, features or features accessibility guidelines because there are people um, they are not really able to just use mouse and keyboard and see how um, other people do. So um, it's very important that, for example, uh, accessibility is available for screen readers and um, they added a um, submenu if I go on the lower right side in the menu there's an accessibility menu in the middle of the menu and there you can set all recommended accessibility options or do some other stuff um, with the accessibility so this is a very nice improvement and accessibility is not only for people that had um, a bad um, a view, a bad sight. I don't know if the word is right. Um, it's just uh, or is often combined with a better accessibility via keyboard shortcuts or via using the synthesizer with the with the uh, computer keyboard. And this is for some people like me. I like to use a lot um, shortcuts and uh, try to leave the mouse alone. So um, just some words in, in German. So the accessibility had einfach was zu tun mit dem, mit, der, mit dem Zugang zu dem Synthesizer. Das heißt uh, für Menschen, die zum Beispiel um, sch sehr schlecht sehen oder gar nichts mehr sehen, blind sind, um, gibt es hier einige Verbesserungen, uh, wenn es zum Thema Screenreader kommt. Um, jeder, der mal, mal irgendwas damit zu tun hat, hat schon mal was von dem Thema gehört, sodass der Synthesizer selbst einfach wesentlich besser zu bedienen ist mit Hilfe eines Screenreaders. Und auch nicht nur mit einem Screenreader. Die, viele dieser ähm, Accessibility ähm, Features, die es so gibt, ähm, gehen so ein bisschen einher mit ähm, verbesserter Steuerung per Computer Keyboard und ähm, das ist für Leute wie mich, die sehr sehr gerne über das Computer Keyboard arbeiten und eigentlich die Maus ganz gerne rechts oder links liegen lassen, auch eine ganz ganz tolle Nachricht. So um, this is one of the accessibility sub uh, submenus uh, things and there is uh, another very interesting feature you can export the current patch as text. And this is available as well if you go down on the right side on the menu and go to the patch settings. You can export patch as text with non-default parameters only and or all parameters. If you click on this, um, the browser opens and you see all the text from this patch. So you could share this or um, do other stuff with this or just for documentation or whatever you need that. But um, this is a really interesting feature and I like that it is there. So um, the Search XT team um, wrote for sharing and quicker patch inspection. So maybe if you searching for a, for a for mistake you did, so you can just use a control F to search um, through this text file. Then uh, there's an improved alias oscillator additive um, editor. If you go over here and go to the alias over here, then the shape and the additive. And there's an now. You don't see much in here. <laughs> um, there's an uh, improvement uh, for screen readers as well. So for uh, if you just open it like that and um, wiggle around with the mouse and, and the keys, there's nothing much there. It's again for all the accessibility features. 
Then the patch selector will now select the submenu for the category of a given patch by default. If you switch over here right now, it's always in the in the right submenu. So um, then the step sequencer now have manual value type ins on the right mouse click. So if you go over down over here in the bottom to a step sequencer and right click, then you have the edit step sequence and you can for example then type in 40 percent and you have 40 percent then with the plugin itself um, sometimes you have a different um, 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 block size of audio so maybe um, you're recording with 24 bits and uh, your daw or your search xt has a different um, uh, bit depth there so there's um, um, appropriate buffering added to such XT, so there's no interference or aliasing or other things or um, crashes or anything else that um, would stop uh, such XT from producing or uh, from um, not producing for processing the sound. Then on the search XT effects, effects is another module. Let me see if I have some open i don't have one open why not let me open one so this is a search xt effect and they wrote let me see default for re reverb and delay effects are more usable this is a separate um plugin and you can select some effects from over here you can select for example air windows with air windows if you don't know that you have to dial in over here your effect you want to um, select i'm not really sure about the sort order on this because if you look over here you can select for example as well here air windows and here you have a category and subcategory, for example, where you can choose the Air Windows plugins. And um, this is the same like the um, effect over here. Just This is just the effect box and this is the whole synthesizer with the effect box. So let's close this again. Let's go over here again. Then in the UI, the filter analyzer now lets you modify the cutoff and resonance simultaneous by simply dragging across the plot XY pet style. So if you don't know, and let's take again the, what did I do? The gliss, I don't have, let's take another patch, let's take this and for example this, I don't know. So these are the filters in the middle of the synthesizer. Filter 1 over here and filter 2 over here. And then you have here filter balance and you can move the filter more to the filter 1. So filter 2 is not recognized and filter 2 and filter 1 is not recognized. In the middle, both filters are recognized. And over here above this slider, there's a little button. If you press that, you get now another window over here. I think you can make it bigger if you like to, but you don't know. And in this window, you can select filter one and filter two. And here you have something like this XY pad. So I don't have, I don't hear my. something like this and you can do this with filter 2 as well so this is very, uh, really nice and you can play with this um, just like that or in a live context or whatever so what I already show is the output level meter can now show show CPU usage this was um, this one right click on the output window over here and show CPU usage. Then alt click on effect slot will now clear it. The effect slot are these ones over here. And if I hold down alt and click on it, it's deleted. 
So before that, you have to just deactivate or clear sense. Um, let, let me take the EQ over here and you can just clear scene R, for example. So um, then added a license field to the safe patch dialog. This is very important because people um, are getting more and more aware about licensing because it's always a very important topic. And if you're a serious music producer, you should always care about the license. And as well, if you create patches or use patches, you, you, should, um, you should always look at this. And if I take this, for example, a safe, there's this license field in here where you can put in the license, whatever you want or need. For example, if you created that patch like a Creative Commons license or any other license, or if you use um, such patches, you should have a look at the license, what license um, is there used normally with uh, Search XT. In the most cases, this is a Creative Commons license or any other free license. In most cases with a factory um, patches and presets. Then the modulation list now um, has a button to copy all assignments to the clipboard. So modulation list is, this is the modulation area in the middle of the search. And on the left side, there's this list button. If you click on that, you have this modulation list where you have all modulations listed that is done with this preset. And on the left lower side, there is a copy to clipboard um, button. Then several uh, virtual keyboard actions are now in the keyboard shortcut editor. So you can activate in um, search a keyboard with Alt K. So now you have a keyboard and, oh, and the menu with, let me see, um, workflow and edit keyboard shortcuts or Alt B. There is virtual keyboard, Alt K, then virtual keyboard octave down, octave up, X and uh, X and Z, then uh, virtual keyboard velocity down is the nine, and velocity up is zero, and so on. So if you play on this, you can just. Okay, I tried. Doesn't work right now for me. But maybe I'm doing something wrong. But these are new shortcuts. Maybe I have to... Um, if there is no velocity, there can be no velocity. If there is no, there is no. Okay, then on the DSP. So the noise generator can now be dropped to mono in all stereo filter configurations. This is the noise color over here. And if you right click on the slider, <laughs> and I have now the old, that's why it didn't work. Wait just a second. I load search XT again. So now I have the real search XT. And right click over here, you can set it mono and stereo. And maybe. No, this doesn't work neither. So, okay. So, then uh, the noise generator, wie gesagt, kann man zwischen Mono und Stereo jetzt um, einstellen. Then modulation. Um, added an option to scale additional LFO outputs by amplitude parameter. So, if you are on, um, on such an um, modulator, you can go to switch to and amplitude parameter applies to raw and EG out, um, outputs on this one. You can just switch them in this way. Then fixed step sequencer fast tracks and out of bounds tracks when holding control. I didn't understand that, but I know what it means. So if you have here this one and hold down um, control, you can set this to zero just by moving the mount over it, uh, the, not the, the mouse over it. 
So like do it like this and just move it over here. So MIDI added an option to ignore MIDI program change messages. So if you have, like I do, uh, configured um, uh, search with a lot of MIDI CCs, there's in the menu in the MIDI settings now ignore MIDI program change messages. So the search won't be um, reacting on any MIDI CC messages. Then other changes and bug fixes. Um, Truncate wavetables no longer add noise to the final imported wavetable. Very important if you use um, wavetables. So there was sometimes a little bit crackling or something at the end. So das heißt, äh, bei den Wavetable, die importiert worden sind, war manchmal so ein bisschen Noise am Ende der Wavetable und das ist, wird jetzt einfach gefixt. So, SearchXT will now close all open menus when destroying the uh, GUI editor, which means lingering menus no longer result in a crash when closing the plugin window. The, I had that very rare, but sometimes, and nice to know, that is fixed now. Ähm, manchmal gab es so Menüs, die blieben einfach stehen, wenn man das Plugin benutzt hatte. Und äh, dieser Fehler wurde jetzt quasi behoben. Das heißt, auch wenn das Plugin ähm, geschlossen wurde, standen die halt einfach noch blöd in der Gegend rum. <lacht> okay, then there are some changes to the VCV Rack. I don't use VCV Rack, so, um, but um, uh, you know that there were some special fixes, bugs and features made to the VCV Rack uh, version. Then on the infrastructure, um, for me very important, or I find interesting, not very important, but I find interesting the Python binding updates, the Python binding updates. Um, so there is an um, installable Python package that is called searchpy, where you can access search via Python. Then for the content, last, um, replace factory templates with explicitly um, Creative Common Zero license patches. So if you use search, there is um, all license are free. You can name them or you, you're not um, uh, forced to name them, but that's very important. So um, by the search XT wurden the factory templates mit um, expliciten uh, Creative Common li Zero license um, ausgestattet. So dass keinerlei Lizenzschwierigkeiten auf einen zukommen. Das heißt, diese Creative Commons License in diesem Falle sind Lizenzen, die muss man auch nicht benennen. Es gibt ja auch welche, die heißen CC by Name und äh, da muss auch immer der Autor genannt werden. Aber wenn man den Search hier nutzt, sind jede, ist jede Lizenz von den Factory Templates, also nicht die man zusätzlich runterladen kann, sondern die, die mit dem um, Search XT dazukommen, sind quasi frei benutzbar auch in um, professionellen Projekten. Then um, Linsrins MPE Patches were updated, very nice. Then new third party wavetables from ALIF are um, additional on board. And then there was a um, problem with the FM2 and the init square templates, and uh, they don't have filters bypass right now. So that was everything right now about the new Search XT changes. Really nice. I really like this. Thank you very much to the Search XT team. You're the greatest. This um, uh, plugin is so incredible and um, I wish there were more people using and advertising for this plugin because it's really great. You're doing a great job. Thank you very much for that. So if you find the video helpful, like and subscribe. My name is Odo Sendai Thanks for watching and your attention. Danke fürs Zuschauen und deine Aufmerksamkeit. I hope to see you soon again in the next video. Stay healthy, save the future, take care, bleib gesund und rette die Zukunft. Mach's gut. Bis dann. Ciao, ciao.